Hello everyone, my name is Blurred Bess and today I'll be showing you how to install additional storage in your PS5. So as you may know, there is a common issue amongst PS5 owners regarding the lack of internal storage versus the increasing size of current gen games. Many AAA PS5 games are over 100GB which eats up the PS5's modest 667GB of usable internal storage. This can cause a vicious cycle of having to delete games to then re-download them which can be really frustrating especially when you have poop internet connection. However, lucky for us, Sony saw this problem coming from a while off and during the PS5's creation also included an empty M.2 storage bay so you can add your own additional storage. And this is where the Samsung 980 Pro comes in. PC gamers have been using NVMe drives for years to achieve super fast loading times and finally the console crowd have caught up. This Samsung SSD provides you with an additional one terabyte of storage that's a thousand gigabytes and even comes with an included heat sink to save you the frustration of clipping on an external one. The Samsung 980 Pro is 12.7 times faster than a standard SATA SSD with sequential read speeds of up to 7,000 megabytes per second. And at Samsung, this entire unit is produced in-house, which helps ensure fantastic quality control and reliability. Now, beyond the impressive specs, a major selling point for this 980 Pro is the built-in heatsink, which dissipates heat and minimizes performance drops while still maintaining the correct form factor for both PS5 and PCs. Now this might be quite surprising, but the hardest part of the SSD installation for me is actually removing the PS5 side plate. First, orientate the PS5 so the back is facing towards you and the disk drive is on top. Pull up and left with your right hand and try to steady the console with your left hand. Be prepared, this does take a bit more force than you'll expect. Next, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver to remove the cover of the M.2 storage bay. There will be a spacer and a screw which you'll need to remove and then slot the spacer into the hole second from the end. Now insert the Samsung 980 Pro at a 30 degree angle and you should feel a little bit of resistance so keep checking to make sure the screw will be able to fit in the hole at the end of the SSD. Replace the cover and plate and now we're ready to reformat this NVMe drive. When you power on your PS5 after installation, you will be prompted to format the SSD. Select an reformat M.2 SSD will delete its contents and reformat the additional storage so it's compatible with PS5 software. This shouldn't take long at all and will even give you a read speed at the end for the SSD. To show off just how fast this 980 Pro is, I decided to move across Bloodborne from the internal storage. This will also show you how little a 36 gigabyte game takes up on one terabyte. And it's as simple as that. Now you have an additional 1000 gigabytes on top of your internal storage to install games and apps on your PS5. Thank you so much to Samsung for sponsoring this video and sending out their 980 Pro 1TB NVMe SSD. I really think the extra flexibility that you get from this is a must have for this console generation. Thank you all so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy tech reviews and tutorials.